I don't want any dust in the firing chamber. Oh, okay, well, when are you going to come down? Because we're just about to play Pictionary. Ah, uh, um, I, uh, I won't play that. Oh, come on, you're so good at it. I'm not that good. Oh, Michael, you are, you always win. I'm just lucky. Trust me, I'll get over it, I'm sure. Don't be a party pooper. I'm not a party pooper. I just don't feel like playing Pictionary, okay? I'm just, I'm, I'm not in the mood. Party pooper, party pooper, every party needs a pooper. That's why not we invited sing you. sing the party pooper party song. Pooper, you know it annoys the hell pooper. out of me. It annoys the hell out of me. <laughs> Is there something bothering you? No. Not at all. Why would you ask? Well, you seem a little bit testy. Is this something that I did? No. It was a chicken marsala, wasn't it? I know the sauce wasn't quite there. It was fine. No, I think I overcooked it. I know I did something wrong. Dinner was terrific. It I always know. is. It was the broccoli. I know that you hate broccoli. You know you didn't have to eat it. I didn't eat it. Well... You should have, because it's really good for you. <coughs> so are you going to come down? No. Well, is it because I invited the Sheridans? Honey, they're such a nice couple. I mean, they don't drink. They don't tell dirty stories. <gasps> Did you see the cheesecake that Marge brought? Oh, my God. She made that from scratch by I'm, herself. I don't have anything to kiss the Sheridans. They don't, you know, sometimes they put me on edge, but they don't annoy me any more than anyone. Dress? I thought you liked this dress. I do. Well, well, is it? Is it because I went to go see my mother this afternoon? Is that it? I do not begrudge your time spent with your mother. You know, because mom is always very supportive of you. I mean, she, you couldn't ask for a better mother-in-law. I love your mother. She's terrific. And you know, I don't get to see her very often. And you were watching the playoff game. This has nothing to do with your mother. Nothing. Okay, well, is it my dad? No. Is it the cat? No. Is it my breath? No. No. Is it because I have my period? You know there's nothing I can do about that. I didn't even know you had your period. You know, I do the best I can to hide it from you. <laughs> Why do you hide it from me? Because I know it makes you so cranky. It does not. <laughs> well, is it because we're playing Pictionary? Because we could play charades. is charades. Well, we could play Trivial Pursuit. I don't want to play anything. I just want to be left alone. <sighs> what? <laughs> I just know that I did something wrong and I don't know what it is. You never <laughs> do anything wrong, ever. No, I have... I have failed you as a wife somehow. I have oh, dishonored our marriage oh, vows. please. <laughs> no, it's true. You're unhappy and I Well, I'm, I am. 
Or what? I'm sorry. Well, I, I just tried my little best. Oh, Sid, you have no reason to be sorry. You never do. You're the perfect wife you always have been. Thank you, Michael. Now, are you going to come down? Please. You really have to. Why? Well, it's a surprise. I can't tell you. Another surprise? Yes, all the experts say that novelty and surprise are key elements in maintaining a vital and exciting marriage. <laughs> if you keep popping surprises on me, then nothing's going to be a surprise anymore. Oh, you're going to like this, because this is exactly what you've always wanted. <laughs> oh, don't tell me that. <laughs> okay, I can't keep it secret any longer. Super Bowl? Super Bowl! 40 yard line! That's good, right? <laughs> Woo! We're going to the Super Bowl? Not me! You and Jimmy Sheridan! He works for the airlines and he got some discount tickets on airline tickets. Ta da! Woo! And then I managed to get you a reservation at the Ambassador Hotel, which is only 10 minutes from the ballpark. All paid for my treat. Sandy, the Super Bowl is on the 27th. That's our anniversary. Happy anniversary, darling. I can't leave you alone on our anniversary. Oh, don't be silly. It's just another day. <laughs> it's our 10th anniversary. It's a milestone. Oh, I can celebrate by myself. Don't you worry about it. I am happy knowing that you're happy. You are happy, aren't you? Oh, don't you ever stop? What? Oh, the Super Bowl, the Ambassador Hotel, Chicken Marsala, Pictionary. How much do you think a guy can take? Well, a lot? <sighs> no. How much happiness can a man take? I can't take anymore. I'm fed up. Well, don't say that. For Christ's sake, Sandy, for 10 years, you've been the perfect wife. You never demand. You never get upset. You subordinate your own wants and desires for my own casual comfort. I, I get drunk. You tuck me in. I lift a finger. You jump. I, I take off a shirt. By morning, it's clean. I go to work. There's flowers on my desk. Fresh flowers. Every time I go to the bathroom, there's a fresh roll of toilet paper in there. How do you do that? A fresh roll of toilet paper each time? Any other woman would castrate her husband if he tried to go to the Super Bowl on their anniversary. But no, you, you, oh no, you, you, you buy the tickets. You buy the tickets. How do you think that makes me feel? Happy? No. <laughs> sick. I'm sick of it. I can't take this shit anymore. God, did it ever occur to you that maybe I don't want a perfect wife? That maybe I want somebody who makes me look good once in a while? That's not so perfect. Maybe somebody that, that needs to take a bath once in a while or, or wears dirty clothes or something like that. I don't mean, in 10 years of marriage, I don't even think I've heard you fart. I don't think you can. Yes, I can. When? When I'm alone. Shouldn't you fart in front of me? I'm your husband. No, I'm not going to because it's not a very nice thing to do. It's so vulgar. <laughs> you can't. You won't. You can't be selfish. You can't be indifferent. You can't be self-centered. You can't be bitchy. It's, it's, you just can't do any of it. Well, as long as we love each other. Ah, duh. No, no. How can you love a monument? How can you love a, a thing? How can you love some perfect idea? Well, I could change. Why should you change? You've already reached perfection. There's nowhere else to go but here. I mean, no, I, I'm the one that's going to make the change. I mean, i got to get away. i got to get out of here. i got to find somebody who, who, who makes me look good for a change. 
God, you can't give me what I need. I'm sorry. Ah! Will you stop apologizing? Stop. What is your problem? I tell you I'm sick of everything. I tell you I'm leaving. And what do you say? I'm sorry? Can't you even get a little bit pissed off? Can't you, can't you generate even a little bit of meanness? I'm sorry. Ah! You hope? 